Oh my gosh! This thing's huge. I got it barbed off. I'm gonna try to see if I can get underneath. Through here. Uh, half of it. Go for it. Line these through there. Easy peasy. Huge bass. Huge bass. Huge bass. Oh yes, that's a, yes. Let's go. Oh my gosh. He followed it. I watched him right behind it. Look at that. On the jerky J, baby. Woo! Mm, not the fish. Oh, he came off. Dude. That felt like a good one. Shoot. What happened? Did he not eat it all the way? That felt like a good one. Fuck. Yes! Oh god, just a giant. It's a giant. Oh my goodness. I got a lot of this fish. It's a giant. Oh my gosh! This thing's huge. Get up, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is the biggest fish I ever caught. This is the biggest fish of my life. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. I don't have a scale. I don't have a scale. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you guys see this fish? Do you guys see this fish? Oh my gosh. It's a giant. See this fish? I can't even believe it right now. Look at her. Look at her. I didn't have a scale on me, but I got her length and her girth. I'm just glad I got it on footage. <sighs> Biggest fish ever caught in my life. Biggest fish ever caught in my life. 
has this itty bitty little pond. Look at this thing. Look at it. Ends right over there. Beep. And there's the end right over there. That was a giant. I uh, don't think it was double digits. I'd say, like, this is a total ballpark because I don't know. I've never caught a fish that big in my life. I'd be interested to see how the length goes, but I'd say that fish was seven, pushing eight pounds, seven and a half pounds, pushing eight pounds. My biggest fish ever, for sure. right now all right y'all so this is exactly what i was fishing for my what i just caught that uh let's just call it a seven and a half pounder i feel like that's not too uh i feel like that's not too greedy <laughs> if you would ask me the second i brought her in i would have said around 10 <laughs> but you know how that goes yeah, we'll, we'll give her a seven and a half. All right. So this right here, this is a Castaic Bates Jerky J. This is the seven inch version. Don't be scared of the seven inch. There's a huge hook slot. And there's actually a slot on top. Get this damn hook out of the way. So there's not a whole lot of plastic to go through. So I'm rigging this on a, this hook is not exactly ideal, it gets the job done though. This is a 6 uh, Superline Gamagatsu EWG hook. I had it running right through the mouth. Right through the mouth. To the bend of the shank. Then you pop it out. Just like that. String her through. Pull that eye the hook in it's kind of cool it goes into the mouth like that eye the hook is hidden and now you might think it's not going to come out right but that's the top of the plastic because it dips down in there dips down on top so right there is that's pretty much perfect where the plastic is ending so you don't have to you don't have to text pose it you don't got to tuck it back into itself and it's extremely weedless and it's just an easier hook exposure. So you kind of measure it out. Bend it right through. Make sure you're coming down the middle. And it's a little tough. Kind of gets caught on the, the walls of the plastic up in here. But you just pull it through. There you go. That is exactly what I was just using for that guy. Straight 50 pound braid. I know people don't like running straight braid, but I'm fishing in Florida. There's big fish. This is a big bait. I want that control of the braid. I want to be able to get little subtle snaps out of it. I want to feel everything. And honestly, there's so much grass right now. It's May. So much grass has grown in. Grass has grown the whole year, but grass is really growing now. That this sitting on the bottom, which is how I was fishing it, that green is... It's invisible. You don't see it. They just see this flash as it falls. And you twitch, twitch as it falls. That's how I caught them. That's how I got them. Awesome stuff.